Hi, it's Fountain and today I'm going to talk about dance as a form of medicine. Now, often we can get um, like certain attachments, entities, stories, um, you name it, kind of stored in our bodies and in our energetic fields. And a free medicine that I've found that helps sometimes is dance. And like I personally really like to dance. I'm not um, very self-conscious in the sense of dancing in public. Like I've been dancing, I guess, in a public sphere in, in the sense of different events um, for a number of years. Like I gave up drinking a number of years ago. So I know for a lot of people in sort of a white Western culture, you really only might dance if you go to dance classes or you might um, only dance when you've been drinking. Um, whereas I guess for myself, I, I don't feel like I need to, uh, to drink to do that or to go to a class to, to dance. And I even sometimes dance on the train to work, um, which I do that more for an intention of just sort of uplifting everybody's spirits. And, you know, it just brings them something different in their sort of morning routine. But I kind of sidetrack on what I really want to say. Um, and obviously dance that's, you know, non-choreographed, doesn't have any drugs, that includes alcohol, you know, you're in easy to move clothing, you're not wearing shoes, you're aware of, you know, if you've got physical injuries, you've created space, the, the music is harmonious, you know, something like 432 hertz tuning, it's um, picked to your particular intention and obviously if your intention is healing then you want to find music that you find really healing for yourself and um, that's going to obviously help um, with using dance as a, as a form of, of medicine and you know dance can help you connect with your body better and when you lose your inhibition of of looking a particular way or, or moving in a particular time to the music uh, also that's going to help with using dance as a form of medicine now not obviously not only is dance probably promoted within particular cultures communities and groups of people but you find now that science actually proves um, that dance can be really beneficial to one's being, well-being, um, in particular things like cognitive abilities, also your connection with um, particular areas in your brain. It can also help people that have particular illnesses or diseases, um, especially those that are connected with the brain. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, that's very important that science proves that. Um, for me, I'm uh, also still quite interested in the um, heart space or the emotional space in which um, medicine like dance can can provide um, because I believe it has more of an impact um, on your well-being than just like what the brain is doing and how well is it firing and functioning um, so I, I, yeah I believe the emotional space is sort of where you want to start with um, healing something because uh, often a lot of illness is associated with um, emotional stories or things that we have created um, but that's kind of a digression of the point of this video so I won't go too far into that um, so when you move how your body needs to move then obviously it can help like dislodge like the stories, the traumas, the um, emotions, the entities, the karma, the stuff that you need to get out of like your body, out of your energetic field. Um, and then that can help you obviously um, process through that emotion, let it go, create um, from the new space that you've hopefully created the emotions in which you're really um, desiring or the place that you want to be. Um, in the sense of your inner world so yeah um, I highly recommend dance as a form of medicine because yeah one it's free uh, to almost anybody can do it uh, you know unless you're not really of an able body then I understand but 
I also know that sometimes like people still have the ability to maybe move their some other parts of their body and that can still help you know if you um, crutches or you're in a wheelchair you can still move your hands move your arms um, so work with what you've got and just see how it feels and I understand for a lot of people dance is a very um, private thing and that I wouldn't recommend dancing in public if you really want to use it as a medicine and you're really new to to allowing yourself to move and how you need to you know if you got a bedroom go to your bedroom put some music on and dance and just try it for half an hour and see how that feels and if you don't feel like you have half an hour then create less time if if that's all that you can create for for the medicine and you don't have to pay someone to do it although I highly recommend you know if you get a chance to go to um, a cacao like dance or go to a um, there's events you may find obviously not available everywhere could be an opportunity if you start something yourself if it's not there but you may find in particular cities particular places that they have events around dance as a form of medicine and it's normally you know it's like a, a drug alcohol free zone you know they might have it on at six in the morning or six in the evening or midday or whatever and um, you know if you want to create some community around that I definitely recommend it um, obviously with the cacao that can be really good with opening up the heart space um, can help you process some things um, maybe a little faster uh, or in the sense that you can access it faster potentially although I'm not I'm not here to you know be a, a nutritionist or um, a medical practitioner I'm just putting out some ideas you can do your research and let me know if you've used this as a medicine um, let me know if you're interested in using this as a medicine you're welcome to leave it in the comment section down below you can find me on various other social media platforms in the description box down below uh, you can like and subscribe too and I will see you in the next vlog.